I have another flashlight review for you today. This time it is the H5 headlamp from the company Wubin. If you're interested in hearing more about this light, keep watching. All right, before we begin, I just want to declare that this flashlight was sent to me for testing and review, and I did not pay for it. However, I'm receiving no compensation for the making of this video or from the sale of any of these lights. All right, as always, we'll go down to the tabletop. I'll go over the physical and performance specifications for this light. I'll go over its modes of operation. Then, of course, we'll do some testing. All right, let's take a look at the physical specifications for the Wubin H5. So to begin, it has a total weight with the battery installed of 2.23 ounces or 63 grams. It has a length of 2.83 inches or 73 millimeters. It has a diameter at the top of 0.9 inches or 22.8 millimeters and a diameter at the base of 0.79 inches or 20 millimeters. It does come with a 750 milliamp 14500 battery. I'll show you this now because this is also where the charging takes place. So the light or the battery is charged on board with a USB type C charging cable. And when you plug it in, it will glow red right around the top uh, contact point. And when it's completely charged, it will turn to green. You'll notice this has a strong resemblance to a AA battery. And that's intentional because you can use AA batteries in this flashlight. However, you're not going to get the same performance specifications that I'm about to give you. It, this flashlight also has an IPX or excuse me, an IP68 waterproof, dustproof rating and a 1.5 meter impact drop resistance. All right, let's take a look at the performance specifications. So I will be putting the performance specifications as well in the video description below. So quickly, the uh, H5 has a high mode of 400 lumens, which will last for 10 minutes before dropping down to 250 lumens, which will last another 1.5 hours. It has a medium setting of 150 lumens, which will last for three hours. It has a low setting of 50 lumens, which which will as last for seven hours and it has a moon mode of one lumen which will last for 120 hours and it does have an SOS mode which comes in at 150 lumens which should last three plus hours according to Wubin. One more thing is that at the high mode this has a beam cast of 73 meters with 175 degree width floodlight. Right, we'll go over the operation of the Wubin H5 before moving on to how this works with the headlight mount that I showed you a moment ago. So it's a simple on off on top of the uh, flashlight, a large button right here, and you can access the moon mode like most flashlights by simply holding down the button for uh, over one second. That's your one lumen mood mode. Mood mode. Now you can also just continue to hold the button down. It'll cycle up through medium, uh, low, medium, and high. Low medium, high, there you go, turn it off. It does have memory and comes back on at whatever mode you used it last. From the on position, if I double tap, I'll get the SOS mode and it'll start going through the SOS sequence. Turn it off and it comes back to the last mode used. Off again, on again, and again, back to the last lumen setting. So this is the headland strap that comes with the Wubin H5. Simple adjustment on the back. Uh, one comment right up front is that this is large, very large. I, I often have trouble with headlamp straps being large enough for me to use on my head, and that's even without a hat. If I have a toque or beanie on, to get the strap around the outside is almost impossible for most of the lights that I have. This, however, is plenty large, not only to get around my head as is, but to get around a beanie. So I'm, I'm quite impressed. Now, it's not very wide, but it is plenty strong enough because, of course, this flashlight is quite small 
and light. So it is sufficient to the task, we'll say. Now, I'm showing you that first because this really is what sets this flashlight apart from a lot of other headlamps. And this is the mount. So one of the things I didn't mention before is that this has a magnetic tail base. So that's not uncommon for small flashlights of this nature. But so does the mount itself. There are three little magnets built right in here, which means you don't have to use the magnet on the flashlight. You can attach this directly to something metal without having it on a headband. More on that in a second. Now, what's really unique about this is this doesn't have to be used just with the strap. You can use this on any strap, say on a backpack. I've used it on the uh, zipper of my jacket just to see if it would work. It can go on just about anything as long as it's not too thick to fit down through that slot. In order to use the headlamp uh, mounting, there is a lever right here. See if I can get a good angle on it. A lever right there that once you slide your strap, the headlamp strap or backpack strap or whatever through, then you push this lever down in it will lock into place and hold the headlamp there. Now, the other unique thing about this headlamp mount is that it is multi-directional. In order to show you that, though, I will have to put the headlamp in the mount. Now, one of the things about this, and I'm gonna say this up front right now, this to me is a bit of a con, and that is in order to attach the flashlight to the headlight mount, you have to unassemble it, or at least take the battery cap off. And then you push it through the mount and put the battery cap back on. Uh, not quite sure why it was designed like that. It's certainly not a deal breaker, but it just seems a little unnecessary in order for that to have to occur. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's not that the O-ring is likely to be damaged, but my thought is every time I have to take that tail cap off and put it back on, there's a risk of damage in the O-ring, so I just as soon leave it on. You already have to take it off to charge the battery, so why have to take it off any more than you need to? Now, the flashlight is attached to the headlight mount, so as you would expect, you can rotate the headlamp down, or up, that's pretty pretty standard for most headlight mounts. But here's the other thing you can do with it. You can rotate it on this axis as well. So you have a great number, it's infinite, just continues to go around. You have a great number of positions that you can use this flashlight from. So, you know, depending on the straps on your backpack, if you want to mount it this way on a strap that's running down uh, your, off of your shoulder, you can then turn the, the lamp this way if you want to use it so that it faces down or up. Or, of course, if you want to use it with the headlamp strap that it comes with, then you can do that while it's in this position. Now, in order to get it on the strap, I do have to open up that lever, place the strap inside of the mount, and push down. So now I am mounted and I'm ready to put this on. And I will demonstrate this on my head and how you can make use of some of those positions in a few moments time. All right, just before we go outside and do some testing with the Wubin H5, what I thought I would do is just show you how it works or fits on my forehead. I mean, that's pretty much what you expect from a headlamp is that for it to work like this. And now I have the adjustments. I can turn it down, turn it up either way I want. Uh, yeah, just fine. And, and as I mentioned, there is a tremendous amount of adjustment on this strap, allowing me to wear it not only against my head, which is unusual for me, but also to be able to wear it over a beanie as well. Now, I wanted to show you that first, and then I'm going to take the flat, the mount off of the strap itself and try and give you a close-up of the mount so that I can, or before I put it on the backpack that I'm wearing right now. So let's take a little bit of a close-up if hopefully it'll focus in there. You can see where the strap would run through, the lever that you use for locking it down against the strap, the little bit of foam padding for having it against your forehead, and where the batteries are across the top here. Or not batteries, sorry, magnets, small magnets in, built into the mount itself. All right, let's mount it on the backpack so you get an idea how you could use it doing that. So again, I lift the lever up, find the strap that I want to mount it to. Let's put it over here. 
snap the lever down, and now I can turn the flashlight down into horizontal position again like that, or I can wear it in the vertical position. Again, a lot of variability with this mount. So now that's a horizontal strap. Let's put it on a vertical strap. So a vertical strap like one up here on the shoulder strap. Slide the strap through the mount, press the button down until it snaps, and now again I can have it in horizontal or run it in vertical or any position that I want to use it. All right, so there are a great number of variable positions you can use this flashlight mount with, including the ball cap. So it will work on a ball cap as well. All right, I think there's only one thing left to do, and that's to get outside and do some testing. Doing some nighttime testing of the Woomid doing some nighttime testing of the Wubin H5 headlamp. I'll turn it on the moonlight, but I expect that's barely showing up for me, so I don't imagine it's showing up on the camera. Take it to low. Uh, maybe around my campsite, but I don't think I'd hike through the woods. Medium, that I could start to use going through the woods. And high, definitely. It is a good floodlight. It has a bit of a hot central spot, but mostly it's flood around the outside. Very clean. Doesn't penetrate a long ways into the wood, but far enough. And if I double tap, then I have the SOS mode. Turn it on again to or bring it back. It goes to the last lumen setting, in this case still on high. Yeah, good little headlamp. So what is it I really like about the Wubin H5 and what things do I think could be improved upon with this light? Well, the one feature that makes this headlamp stand out from all the others that I have tested at least is the mount itself, the hard plastic mount. Uh, I'd like to a couple of things about it. First off, obviously, is the fact that it can be used horizontally or vertically or anywhere all the way around and be turned the light. So you can get the angle, precise angle you want to for this light, depending of course on what you have it attached to. And now that's the other thing I really like about this light. So not only can this be attached to the headlamp strap that it came with, it can be attached to just about anything else that is thin enough to fit through that channel. So as I demonstrated, I can use it with the straps on my backpack, but I can also use it with a ball cap. I can also use it on a jacket or shirt, depending if it's uh, strong enough to hold the flashlight up. Uh, yeah, it's that variability or those versatility that really makes this mount shine. However, not all is perfect with this mount, and let me demonstrate now. So what I want to show you is on the back of the mount where the foam pad is for protection against your forehead is where there's three small magnets built into the mount. Now, theoretically, I should be able to take this and lay it against a metal surface and have it hold on and then I can use the light remote from my hands. In theory, yes, but in practice what happened, and I'll use my stainless steel ruler, is it will hold on but it won't take much of a shake for it to fall off. So the magnets are not very strong there. Now the magnet on the base is plenty strong, so you can still use it that way, but if you want to use the magnets in the uh, mount itself, then just be aware that they don't hold on really well, and uh, unless you have bare metal, uh, you know, it, it may not hold on at all. So that's just something to be aware of. I think probably that can be improved with a little bit larger magnets, or it may be the fact that the foam is actually keeping the plastic base from touching the metal as well as it could. I guess the other thing that I'm not too keen on with the mount is the fact that you have to take the battery cap cover off in order to put the flashlight into the mount and put it back on. Uh, that's a relative con. It's not that big a deal. Honestly, how often are you going to do this? Unless you're going to turn this into your EDC flashlight and drop it into your pocket, which you can do, of course, uh, you're likely going to be leaving it on the mount, so you're probably not going to be doing that too often. Uh, yes, you do have to take the base off in order to charge the battery, but that's not uncommon to a lot of flashlights, and it is a great feature that you can change the 14350 battery out for a AA. Again, you won't get the same lumen settings 
that you would get with this rechargeable battery but the very fact that you can change it out means that it has that versatility if you don't have the ability to charge this battery with you but you do have double a's or access to double a's then yes you can still use your light so there are some a lot of pros for this and i think the pros certainly outweigh the cons i just wanted you to be aware of some of the things i think could use some improving okay that's all i have to say about the wubin h5 let me know if you have any questions or any experience with this light if you do please put them in the comments section below i will of course be putting all the information regarding this light and where it can be purchased in the video description but until next time get out and explore and take that path less traveled because it will make all the difference bye for now